Hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing very very well. I decided today I was going to bring you a video just giving some little inspiration and a preview into what I plan to wear for summer 2023. I've been thrifting like a crazy person recently and have found so many cool unique pieces that I'm just really excited to wear this summer that I wanted to share with you guys. So let's go. First up we got to start with hair because hair is very much an accessory and one that I was not able to utilize last summer when I was growing out my buzz cut. It was definitely a transition period and one that I'm happy to not have to repeat. Now my hair is at like a fairly regular length and I'm so excited to be able to use it as an accessory doing different braids, little space buns, different clips and barrettes and things like that. I want to keep it at my shoulders or a little bit above. I want to keep the bangs and just enjoy it being pretty low maintenance, just like enjoying my healthy hair. Moving on to jewelry. I'm not a huge jewelry person, especially in the summer because I'm a sweater. I tend to wear a lot of rings when I like go out and then my hands swell when it's really hot. I tend to shy away from a lot of heavy jewelry except for earrings. I've really been enjoying decking out my ears. I have three little studs right now and then a hoop and these little earring heart earrings that I made. And then on this ear, I've got my helix piercing, this little seven, the handcuff, cuffs, and then the heart. I only wear silver, so silver jewelry is the main it's the main thing this summer. And then for bags, especially when I'm traveling, I definitely like to have like a good, fairly sizable bag. Be able to put like water bottle, headphones, Kindle, whatever else I need. I just really prioritize functionality over looks and like trendiness when I'm looking for bags because I know that I literally just need them to carry my stuff and I'm not super worried about the appearance of them, although they are really cute, but I'm less worried about that. I'm like half giving you advice, half just like telling you what I'm doing. I don't know, as if I'm a fashion icon. I did win best dress. Actually, I tied for best dress in high school, so bathing suits. I tend to just wear the same bathing suits every year. I really like the ones that I have. They fit, they're comfortable, they're flattering. But I've really been liking florals, bright color bathing suits always, and one pieces. I've really been enjoying strapless one pieces, which I don't know how practical those are, and then like floral, like regular neck, but then like super low back bathing suits i don't know i really want to find a one piece before i go on my trip i feel like one pieces are gonna make a comeback next up is tops i am just interested in anything that's like unique whether it has a asymmetrical hemline a different sort of neck anything like that i've really been drawn to so a few examples are sleeveless mock neck tops i just bought a black one that i think is really cute and I don't know, it's just, it's interesting. It's better than just like a plain scoop neck tank top or whatever. Tube tops are another one that I've really been enjoying. I feel like you can definitely play with jewelry and your hair and things like that when you're wearing something that's off the shoulder. So I bought a few pieces that are off the shoulder that I really like and I'm excited about this summer. Next up for long sleeves, I've really been loving, I don't know how else to put it, but like blouses that have any sort of like ruffle detail kind of that are button up, that have wider sleeves, just anything to make them more interesting than just like a plain button up I think is really, really nice. That's what I plan on wearing. I don't know, that's so incredibly vague, but this is just what I've been drawn to recently. 2023, at least for me, is definitely going to be the summer and I guess spring of dresses. I have so many dresses that I've purchased that I just feel so pretty in and that's like the best feeling ever. And then as far as like specifics of the dresses, I've really been liking florals, bright colors, and like for necks, I really like either halter neck or strapless or off the shoulder, which is like kind of what I just said with tops. But again, just like an interesting look. I bought this black high neck dress a while ago. It's sleeveless, like a kind of mock neck. It is gorgeous. I'm so excited to wear it, especially with like some sort of statement bag or statement jacket could be really nice. Now for bottoms. This is not the summer of jean shorts. I will tell you that right now. I hate jean shorts. I literally, I can't wear them anymore. I used to literally only wear them in the summer and they are uncomfortable, they're tight, they're not breathable, they're not really easy to move in. I just, I'm, I'm done with them. Instead, I will be wearing boxers, which was literally all I wore last summer, just like plaid, shorts pretty much some of them were men's pajama pants that i just cut and hemmed and then turned into boxers or like actual boxers those are definitely more casual but i think you can dress them up if they look a little bit nicer and then skirts i've been adoring skirts recently two different types one is any midi or maxi skirts like the layered flowy ones i have a bunch of them and i just found another one so i'm definitely set in that round or if i feel like a mini skirt if it's hot if i feel like i just want a cute little mini cargo skirt skirts I don't care if they're made for 11 year olds, I don't care if they're made for people above the age of 50, they're so functional and I want to wear outfits that I feel comfortable in, laying down at a park, whatever the case may be, I want to feel comfortable in what I'm wearing and 
feel comfortable to be able to do things in what I'm wearing and not have to like mess with it. Outfits shouldn't get in the way of your life. Functionality over anything else. But cute is like really close after functionality. All right, and I think that's everything. I'm definitely gonna be making some outfit inspiration or like outfit idea videos as well as a packing for my upcoming trip video where I'll show some outfits that I'm planning and I don't know maybe some vlogs and such I don't really know I'm just making stuff up right now I love you guys thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye